welcome this is the collaboration reading for all of you pisces cancer scorpion your water energies as of now the weekly readings is going to be coming up only one reading for all of you water signs you have to learn that you are soul families okay water sign you are all soul family spices cancer scorpion you are all soul families and what is transpiring is that the universe wants you guys to know that you are a collaboration so fun of this week first week of april week begins from the fourth until the, the fifth uh the 11th <laughs> the fifth until the 11th um, you're going to be recognizing who are your soul family. Um, we have to change the energy vibration so that people can know their element sign and what is going to be coming up. So the energies affect a lot of you and go back and look at all the weekly readings and compare it with the energy of a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion. You're going to be recognizing that it is uh, um, connected, okay? Um, and one of the reasons why I went in meditation, cause I got this message from, um, another, um, reader and, you know, I was like, whatever, I don't need you to be, um, uh, leaving a message on my channel, but it was a situation where cancers have been feeling and it's going through, cancers are going through like an horrible time. Like last year, the scorpions was going through it. And this year is like the cancers. Every year, uh, you water sign, people change. Because sometimes the year can be good for Pisces, but not yet good for a scorpion. Or the year could be good for a scorpion, but not good for a cancer. And uh, with this person leaving a message, I went in meditation and I recognized... Uh, um, it is better for you guys to know who are your soul family. So I'm only going to do the week list in soul family. The rest of the readings, you guys are going to be getting individual. But for the week list, you're going to be getting it uh, as a soul family. All right. So that people can say, oh, it's always a cancer. Oh. You know, people, uh, you got to understand that water sign energies, uh, sun sign energies, you're all soul family. Okay. All right, let's see what is coming out on. Um, we're going to be looking at each day, the seven days of the week, individually. Five of uh, Pentacles. On Monday, some sort of a financial hardship or some sort of a hardship that some of you were going to is going to be resolved. Okay, so what a sign, people, that is a good news. Uh, Ace of Cup, there is no love. Um, a lot of you are focusing on your work and not focusing on love in this week where um, it can happen sometimes that you want to sign people are thinking about your money. Uh, eight of ones, things are going to be going very fast. It's going to be very busy at work in this week. So that is good. You're focusing on your work and not on the mundane things of love. Then we see um, cooperation institution. And a lot of you are going to be dealing with your boss or a Taurus in a corporation institution in this week. Okay. Okay. So um, some of you could be dealing with a financial organization. A lot of you are not seeing the truth. You're not really seeing clearly what is happening to you. What is happening to a child? What is happening in your relationship? You are not seeing clearly. Then a lot of you were dealing with an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. A lot of you who are married to an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra man, you're going to be recognizing some sort of information is going to be coming to you about this person, okay? Or he's going to be telling you something. The two of cups, again, this is not looking good. Um... The Two of Cups is about uh, you and another person um, at the workplace. This is not really, it's not really a teamwork with you and another person at the workplace. 
or if some of you were looking for some sort of a help from a corporation institution um, it's not going to be coming out the night of cup you young people you're sitting good you're standing up and you're sitting good and this is going to be good young people at work uh, this is going to be good but in relationship uh, you're focusing on your work and not relationship uh, heartbreaks is coming up uh, for some of you young people people between the ages of 18 and uh, uh, 50 some sort of a heartbreaks is coming up uh, I see you and your partner are not seeing eye to eye. So whatever is transpiring, a lot of you could be recognizing something about your partner. Then we see the energy of the Eight of Cups. And the energy of the Eight of Cups, this is an energy where a lot of you are going to be thinking on Thursday to leave a corporation or leave a group of people. Okay? So whatever it is at the workplace on Thursday, some of you are going to be deciding maybe it's best that I leave this corporation institution. On Friday, um, on Thursday, it is better to leave a situation. A lot of you young people, if you're in a relationship with a Libran, you are going to be recognizing the cycle is over for this Libran and myself, okay? You're going to be finding out something about a Libran. Secrets are coming out. So... People between the ages of 18 and 40, 45, 50, some sort of a secret is going to be coming out. Friday, we have the energy of the Seven of Pentacles. So there is a lot of um, issues with work and project um, that is happening for a lot of you um, water sign people. And uh, I see some sort of a new start because um, you young people between the age of 18 and 45 is going to be recognizing that your marriage or relationship is over. You weren't seeing something clear about your partner. And this is going to be coming out very, very clear in this week. Okay. So people between the age of 18 and uh, 18 and 40, you're going to be seeing something very clear coming out in this week. Mm. So Love is not on the table, especially for a lot of people who are young people. Love is not on the table. And whoever that was in a relationship with a Libran, you're going to be recognizing who this Libran is and what this Libran was looking for and what this Libran has done. And that some of you, a Libran has brought you in a whole lot of problems. And I see a lot of heartbreaks, <clears throat> heartbreaks, okay? So on Friday, we see problem with your work or your business, but this is going to be balancing out and a new start is going to be coming in. So if some of you have project, business, project, work business project and that sort of a thing that there was some sort of a problem a resolution is here let's look at a weekend saturday a pisces cancer a scorpion man whoever the spices cancer a scorpion man is there is some sort of a problem with him and this is a capricorn man a lot of you are going to be recognizing something about a capricorn man okay and uh, um how this capricorn man had collaborated together in order to create some sort of a problems for you on sunday some sort of a news is going to be coming in maybe this man is your father um or some sort of a news is going to be coming in about a taurus man um the four of swords a lot of you are are worried sick and is tired of a taurus Virgo, or a capricorn person and i see truth is coming out in the weekend so on the Saturday, Sunday, the weekend is that uh, a lot of you are going to be dealing with a Capricorn man. Whoever this man is in the weekend, this man could be your father. For some of you, it's coming up as your father and you're like tired of this person. Um, Some of you in the weekend could find out that your father is well. Okay, so if your father is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person, some of you are going to be finding out that he's not well. Now, the energy of the Three of Pentacles uh, is the energy of you successfully overcoming 
a Capricorn man, whoever this Capricorn man is and whatever this Capricorn man have done, you have successfully overcome this Capricorn man because it's as if truth is coming out about this Capricorn man. And in the weekend, a lot of you are going to be finding out something about a Capricorn man and what a Capricorn man have done. Okay, so some of you, it's, it's as if this man is sick, that some of you are going to be finding out. Some of you, this man is your father. And I see you have to make some sort of a decision for this man. Because you recognize maybe this man cannot live um, uh, alone. Or you recognize that this man have done something. But it is a Capricorn man. Ooh, uh, a lot is going on. These um, earth sign people, a lot is going on. So let's recap your week and look and see what is transpiring. So a lot of you could be working um, um, with a Taurus man. Okay. A lot of you are working in collaboration with a Taurus man or a lot of you, a Taurus man could be your boss. And I see that you're going to be making some sort of a decision to end uh, some sort of a connection with this Taurus man because a lot of you recognize that it's not working out. Whoever the Taurus man is and whatever the Taurus man have done, a lot of you kids, if your father is a Taurus, you're going to be ending some sort of a communication or some sort of a contact with this Taurus man um, if it is your father, okay? A lot of you, ooh, this man is your boss or your husband. You are going to be deciding to release this person out of your life for whatever the reason is. Then we see um, love is not the most foremost things, especially if you're in a relationship with a Libran. You're going to be recognizing who this Libran is and you're going to be ending a cycle with this Libran because you recognize something about this Libran and what this Libran has done. And you're going to be walking away from this Libran and leaving this Libran behind because you recognize some sort of information came out about this Libran. And in order to release yourself from this situation, you have to leave this Libran behind. So it could be a situation that some of you were in a relationship with a Libran, seeing a Libran and recognizing that uh, I now see the truth of who you are and I'm going to be letting it go. I am going to be moving forward and I'm going to be making that decision to move forward. And I think it is going to be best for a lot of you. Then we see um, this week is starting out very fast. Um, a whole lot of communication about a liberal man is going to be coming in. I see you getting a whole lot of message from a Libran man. And whoever this Libran man is, I see heartbreaks for this Libran man. This Libran man is going to be telling you something that you were not aware of. And I see secrets about this Libran man is going to be coming out. And you're going to be recognizing that this Libran man is very, very emotional. And, um, you know, it could be a situation that you and this Libran man have maybe it's your father maybe it's your father sending you some sort of a message or maybe it's your boss but this liberal man had a whole lot of secrets whoever this liberal man is and was have a whole lot of secrets and was dealing with a whole lot of emotional situation and i see the energy of the three of pentacles is that you successfully overcome this liberal man because you recognize who this liberal man is and was and what this liberal man has done so whoever this liberal man is whether it's your father whether it's your boss whether it's your your husband you're going to be recognizing that this liberal man is heartbroken okay it's coming up as a liberal it's as if a whole lot of you are dealing with liberals and you're going to be recognizing the heartbreaks of a Libran man and his secrets and he's very emotional and you are like you know I'm happy um it's not me or I'm happy that I had released myself from this situation because it's something that you guys could be hearing about this Libran man and recognizing 
that this Libran man has not been honest to you and this Libran man is now things are now revealing that you had as if uh, you know you know that this Libran man had some sort of a secrets and now the secrets are all coming out some of you are dealing with a um Taurus um a, a Hawkeye and Gemini or Libran man this man is 50 years and older and whoever this man is so I see a lot of you are going to be heartbroken for some sort of a uh, information that you're going to be receiving about this man or what this man has done to you that this man had a lot of secrets and it's all going to be coming out when we look at the Celtic cross or yeah when we look at the Celtic cross what we're recognizing is that a whole lot of you are going to be bringing an end to some sort of a secrecy that was going on a whole lot of you recognize that there was some sort of a secrecy emotional um a secrecy it could be your emotional secrecy or it could be someone else's emotional secrecy that was basically affecting you and you're going to be bringing it to an end a lot of you relationship wise especially for the people who are having relationship with liberals it's as if you're going to be recognizing something about this liberal and you're going to be deciding no and this is time for me to leave this person i've done my my um i have done my karma i've worked out my karma with this person and it's about time i let go of this person whatever the karma is between this this liberal and i i share no more love with this person i do not want to open up my heart um to this person anymore because i recognize that this person is not who they pretend to be so a lot of you are going to be recognizing things about liberal so whatever is happening in transparent is as if the energy that a whole lot of you were dealing with liberal you're going to be recognizing no this is not the person for me okay um a lot of you are going to be now stepping back and recognizing I have been given my all to this person and now I'm recognizing that this person has played me or this person have treated me unkindly when I have been there for this person and I'm I'm no longer going to be letting this person um create any more emotional issues for myself and you're using the energy of the wheel of fortune so the wheel of fortune is that a cycle is over a lot of you are going to be ending some sort of a cycle with uh, um a liberal person who you recognize uh, was not being fair and you're leaving this person behind and moving forward when to look for the major situations that is going to be transpiring is that you have to look the center of this week is where a cycle is going to be over so a lot of you that was dealing with issues and problems it is going to be over in this week whether emotional issues and problems secrets that was kept from you whatever that was happening you guys are going to be um, recognizing that in this week I need to let this situation go it is time to move on and it's, you know, the Skeletic Cross is saying to a lot of you young people between the age of 18 and 45, it is time to leave a situation and move on. And I see you're going to be choosing to release yourself from a Libran who you were dealing with. So relationship wise, marriage wise, however you were dealing with this Libran, you are going to be recognizing um, this person has created a whole lot of issues in my world and I'm letting this person go and this is going to be good for you okay so we're seeing a situation with love the ace of cups is in reverse a lot of you are thinking about leaving your work your job your company a lot of you have a, a liberal boss that you're dealing with and there's a whole lot of complication with this person I see a lot of you it's going to be fast this person is like throwing a lot of work to you you're going to be like okay this is enough I am going to make a decision to get out of this hardship because it's as if some of you recognize I've been working 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 I have no time for myself 
and your Libran boss has been creating a whole lot of issues. And I see a lot of you are going to be deciding in this week if you are a Libran boss that I'm, I'm letting this go. I'm going in search of something else because you have uh, this relationship, this contract, this business deal is not working out with a Libran person. I see heartbreaks for a lot of you and a lot of you are now recognizing that a Libran has created a whole lot of pain for you and you're letting it go. Then when we look, <clears throat> um, a lot of you uh, Pisces men are going to be, especially Pisces people between the age of 18 and 45, is going to be having some sort of a new start. The secrets come out, you're heartbroken. Some sort of a secrets came out and you're heartbroken. Um, whatever the secret is and was that came out, you are heartbroken. It's over a relationship, someone you were in a relationship with. And you try to work on this relationship, but you recognize, uh, I need to choose for myself and end this cycle. Okay, so for you Pisces, it could be a Libran, but for some of you, it's not showing up who it is, but there was some sort of a secrecy. So if you were, you Pisces were in a relationship with a, a Cancer or <clears throat> your marriage with a Libran, because a lot of you, if you were in a marriage with a Libran, you're no longer going to be working on this marriage. I think you're taking the highway out in order to to balance your emotional state of mind. And this is going to be good. Um, Yeah. When we look, a lot of you are going to be walking away from a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man. Whoever the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man is, you're looking for a new start and you're leaving this man behind because some sort of a data information came out about a Taurus man or a Capricorn man. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus man or a Capricorn man. Some of you could be married to the Taurus man or Capricorn man. Some sort of an information came out about this man and how this man had collaborated with other people to create some sort of an emotional instability, some sort of a secrecy that this man had, emotional secrecy that this man was holding. You are letting go this person and you no longer wants to work with this person to resolve whatever the situation is. You have made your decision because you have seen the truth about a Taurus man and a Capricorn man. You have now, um, the light is now, you're now recognizing what this uh, um, Taurus man have done to a whole lot of you um, water sign people. So whoever this Taurus man is, uh, um, is a man 50 years and older is an older person than you are okay it doesn't have to be 50 let's say that you're 25 and this man is 45 is an older man to you and whoever this older man to you is and was you're deciding whether it's your child's father whoever this man is and was and whatever that was transpiring you're deciding to release this person now is as if the karma is here and saying to you release this person because now you find out the truth so whether it is your boss it was your father it was a brother it was a business part now whoever this person is so and whatever they were keeping from you you are now going to be releasing this person so on monday <clears throat> the hardship with some sort of a relationship that you were having um is now going to be over because i see you weren't seeing something clearly and uh, um, a Libran had kept, kept you or kept you blindfolded. So a lot of you water sign people are going to be recognizing that the Libran had kept you blindfolded. This is a Libran that you were married or in a relationship with. I see you show this Libran no more love because this Libran had kept you um, blindfolded and you're now releasing yourself and moving forward. A lot of information, something, a whole lot of information came out. And a lot of you young people recognize that a Libran had blindfolded you or you were blindfolded by a love. And you're releasing yourself from this blindfold. On Tuesday, a lot of you 
um, are going to be deciding to walk away from a corporation. You recognize that this corporation have too many secrets. It's as if you come, um, you, you have been working at this place for a very long time and you recognize that there was a whole lot of secrets in this corporation and you were blindfolded by a Libran man who got you in a corporation. This Libran man had blindfolded you in order to get you in a corporation and has been um, using you and you're going to be recognizing and as if uh, you're going to be recognizing that a Libran man has brought you in some sort of uh, dishonorable situation and you're going to be releasing yourself. On Wednesday... You were blindfolded and a lot of data information came out to, to give you um, some sort of, uh, it's as if something is cleared up now. And uh, this this two of cup, a lot of you who were in a relationship with a Libran, you're going to be recognizing who this Libran is. And the cycle is now over because you recognize that this Libran, you're heartbroken from this Libran because you now recognize and see the truth who this Libran is and how this Libran had blindfolded you for a very long time. On Thursday, a lot of you um, Pisces uh, on Thursday is going to be recognizing something about an Aquarian, Gemini or Libran. Whoever this Aquarian, Gemini or Libran is, uh, is a man. And this man is an older man to you. So maybe this was your father. And I, you, you're going to be very emotional. Um, you could be going to visit your father. So um, you Pisces, if your father is a um, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person, a new story is going to be coming up for your father because I see people are going to be collaborating in order to give your father a new start. So whatever that was happening to your father, you, um, you Pisces that have a father that is an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra, Whatever that was happening to your father, you're going to be getting some sort of a good news because here is uh, the energy of the fool and it's as if for uh, this man is going to be getting some sort of a news story, some sort of a health issue or problem that this, this man was having. I see people are going to be coming together in order to resolve and um, clear up whatever was going on. So emotionally... Some sort of an emotional cycle is going to be over because the secrets are now out, okay? Some sort of an emotional cycle is going to be over because the secret is now out. Then when we look at Friday, Friday, the heartbreaks is going to be over. A lot of you were heartbroken about a project, a job, heartbroken about a project, and you're now recognizing and seeing the truth. So the heartbreaks that you were having with a project is going to be over and a new start is going to be coming in and you're going to be feeling so emotionally stable, okay? Because um, it's as if you planted something and there were people that was working against you. And whoever these people are, it's as if they're going to be removed out of your life because it was it's as if some of you and a Libra man was creating a whole lot of issues for a lot of you Pisces. Whoever this Libra man is was creating a whole lot of problems around your project, your business, and it is going to be over um, because we see a new story coming in and you are going to be now emotional balance. Then we recognize on Saturday, a whole lot of you are turning your back. Some sort of a secrecy came out about a uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man. Some of you is a Taurus man. Some of you is a Capricorn man. A whole lot of secrets comes out of the working of a Taurus man and a Capricorn man. And people now recognize what, what the Taurus man together with those Capricorn man has done. And a whole lot of you are walking away. Some of you... Um, Whoever a Capricorn man is, you might find out that this person is not well and you're going to be trying to work together or um, create some sort of a balance for this person, okay? So maybe it's your father or your brother, whoever this person is, this person is a Capricorn man. And a lot of you might want to collaborate and create some sort of a financial balance for this person. So you might take him in the house or you might going to be looking some sort of an assistant to help this man out. 
then I see um, some sort of a news is coming in on Sunday and this news is going to be bringing you some sort of an emotional balance because there was some sort of an unsavorable um, problems, issues emotionally that was happening to you and whatever the news is that is coming in is going to be good. Um, that is going to be giving you some sort of a resolution. Um, information came out. It's as if some of you were looking for some sort of information and information came out. Some of you are going to be finding out that people were collaborating and working against you. Some of you are going to be recognizing this in this week. So what a week, what a week, what a week. Okay. So a lot of you are going to be finding out something. And a lot of you, this week is going to be a week where you're dealing with the queen of, or taking on the energy. It's going to be a brilliant week. Loyalty and talented um, friendliness for a whole lot of you. And a whole lot of you need to believe in yourself. This week is a week where you need to believe in yourself. So a lot of you are going to be taking on the energy of this uh, um, Aries Lee or Sagittarian person. Just the energy, not the person. You're just going to be taking on this energy of this person. And with that, you're going to be bringing in a whole lot of stability and a whole lot of balance in your world by taking on this fiery energy and pulling yourself out of something and recreating some sort of a new start and new balance for yourself. So congratulations to a whole lot of you. This looks like a beautiful week. Congrats. I'm wishing you all the luck. Please remember to thumbs up, like, share these videos, leave your message, and I will speak to you next week.